let's read it before take-up checklist. Before take-up checklist, flight controls. Checked. Flight instruments. Checked. Check Briefing. Me. Briefing confirmed. Flap setting. Config 2. V1, VR, V2, flex temp. V1, 130, VR, 145, V2, 150, flex temp, 40 degrees. ATC. Set. Beacon memo. Take off, no blue. Take off, runway. Will be uh, two, three. Capping group. Let's advise them. Cabin crew seats for departure. Advised. Engine mode self. Normal. Packs. On. Checklist complete. Okay, and we are clear to line up. Document off. We turn on strobe lights. And we turn off lights. And landing lights. Now that should be to take off. So let's line up. Approach is clear. Okay, so we are ready with the... Um, we did the checklist already, so... Yeah, everything is set. set. Okay, so it's set. Timing. Are you ready? Ready. Off brakes. Engine stable, setting thrust. Man flex, 40 degrees, SRS runway. Climb first. Flaps one. Flaps one. Now we're accelerating to 250 knots. Flaps up. Flaps up.
Please set flight level 360. 360, okay. Checked. Autopilot on. Okay, after takeoff checklist. Landing gear. Up. Flaps. Retracted. Axe. On. Power ref. We can set standard. So you can pull. Standard set. Checklist completed. Alright. Okay, so let's uh, climb to cruising altitude. So under uh, 10,000 feet, uh, we, should, we uh, are keeping like a sterile cockpit, we're not talking about unnecessary things, we want yeah. to keep it as uh, focused as possible. Yes. Yeah. Ten thousand feet, lights off. Two percent. Yeah, and this should be on. You have control. I have control. So today we're doing something different. We are going to do a transatlantic flight and uh, talk about the procedures, what to uh, say when we request a clearance and uh, do a position report. And we will also talk about um, operational procedures while flying in the oceanic area. A little bit about what ETOPS uh, means, etc. Of course, this uh, flight is not very realistic because uh, you don't fly transatlantic with a 320 but this is just because we want to show you a little bit how uh, how it can look like and I uh, hope uh, that you will find it interesting we are getting closer to uh, the entry point for our North Atlantic track and before we enter we should uh, request for clearance and in our case, we should talk to Shanwick Oceanic Control or, for example, if you go from um, the States to Europe, you should talk to Gander um, if you fly these tracks here. And you should request Oceanic Clearance approximately 30 minutes before entering the area. So uh, let's, let's do that now. Shanwick Oceanic Baltic 247 request clearance to Boston International. Baltic 247, type your message. Request Boston International via NAT Echo, Marlott, 53 North, 020 West, 54 North, 030 West, 52 North, 040 West, 50 North, 050 West. Elsir at flight level 360 Mach decimal 79 er estimate Marlot time 1300 Sulu TMI 266 Cell Cal Charlie Sierra Alfa Romeo Baltic 247 Baltic 247 clear track echo to Boston at flight level 360 Mach decimal 79 er cross balance at 4 
Clear to Boston via track Echo, cross Marlott, not before 1300 Zulu. Clearance expires Marlott 1305 Zulu, Baltic 247. Baltic 247, stand by for Soho, check Charlie Sierra, Alpha Review. Okay, and uh, now hopefully you will hear like a chime in the cockpit indicating the, that you have re uh, received the cell call. So then we can respond. Cell call received, Baltic 247. Baltic 247, continue with domestic. Going to domestic, Baltic 247. Okay, so now we have got our clearance, we should be, uh, we ha should have crossed Molots, not before 1300, and the clearance expires at 1305, but uh, if you don't have radio contact, you can still enter and proceed according to your flight plan, because your flight plan has already been uh, accepted. Or cleared. So that's a good thing to know.